Hey, what is up, my YouTube minions? I have another battle here for you against uh, Fat Jesus, and uh, it was actually one that was not on stream, and uh, we had a battle right before this that he completely destroyed me. Like, it was like a 6-0, and uh, I'm like, okay, how about a rematch? And he's like, all right, so maybe I'll do a little bit better this time. I changed up, I think, a couple things about my team, and then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try this again. And he has a very potent team, as you can see, with um, Tapu Koko and, uh, you know, the Storm Surge, Alolan Raichu. So, uh, yeah, should be pretty interesting. So he goes out in and leads with Salazel, as I lead with Heatran, and um, he's going to go ahead and go for the Taunt, which is a good move, uh, predicting that I would uh, try to set up, and uh, yeah, that's indeed what I try to do. I try to go for the Stealth Rock, and he knows that he, he pro I probably don't have anything, unless I carry Earth Power, um, I don't really have anything to do to him. So uh, he is going to go to Tapu Koko now, just in case, um, although I think, yeah, because I think this thing has Air Balloon, or maybe... Yeah, there you go. So, he had to cover it if I did have Earth Power. Um, but I'm going to just go into Tyranitar, and uh, I guess I do that because Tyranitar counters the um, Salazzle pretty nicely. But, uh, yeah, I also, from the Sandstorm, I do get a Sandstorm Special Defense boost, so I'm like, alright. I'll just stay in and see what he does. He goes for a U-turn. I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide, kind of predicting a switch, um, but kind of not. And uh, he ends up going into Vapor. I end up missing the Rock Slide, which... It's funny, because I have Rock Slide on this uh, Tyranitar to avoid missing with Stone Edge, but uh, not even Rock Slide is perfect accuracy. I, well, I probably wouldn't have done much to this Vaporite anyway. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to actually try to set up a Dragon Dance or something. Um, because I don't even know. I mean, I guess it was pretty much a risk, because he could have easily burned me with a Scald or something, or, you know, have um, Roar. But he ends up just going for a Wish, which is good, because uh, I do get that pretty much Dragon Dance for free. And even though most Vaporons are physically defensive sets, you know what, Tyranitar is a monster when it comes to physical attack. So I'm like, alright, I'm just going to go for a Stab Crunch, see what it does, maybe it'll do work, maybe it won't. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see how much this does after plus one, because I know it's definitely going to Scald me now, or Roar me. Um, he ends up going for the Scald, and as you can see, I do about half, and he doesn't get the burn, thankfully, so... Um, kind of worked out there, although he is going to get off his Wish, so... Basically did nothing, but I see that it did about half. Especially after the Sandstorm, I'm like, okay, maybe I can get it to a KO off. I don't know if he's going to be able to kill me with another Scald. In fact, I don't think he will be able to. I took it okay. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go for that Crunch, and it does a little less than it did last time, unfortunately. Um, so I must have gotten, like, max damage the first time and, like, min damage that time and, like, whatever. Um, my Sandstorm wears off, but I do live the Scald, thankfully. Still no burn. Um, psyched about that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill this Vapor, and right? I'm going to go ahead and uh, do as much damage as I can, though. He doesn't have a Wish set up, so, um, yeah, obviously I can get him in red HP for my next Pokemon, and, yeah, he's going to kill my Tyranitar, but, you know, it's it, I did some nice damage to the Vapor, right? and, you know, that that is something, at least. And this Vapor, I'm just like, I'm just going to heal and troll. Anyway, so in comes Ferramosa, which is an excellent revenge killer, um... It just in general, and I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn. This is actually a choice Bandit Pheromosa. Trying it out, um, I actually prefer the Life Orb variant, but uh, this one is Bandit, and um, just to give it a shot, and I'm just going to go for the U-turn again because I'm locked into it. Um, he thinks he might be able to live this U-turn because obviously he's physically offensive, but the choice band puts me over the edge, and yeah. I mean, we'll take out that Vapor, which is pretty huge. Not going to give it a chance to wish up or anything. So in comes Heatran again, and uh, I still want to set up Stealth Rocks. So uh, he's going to go into his Tapu Koko, which um, is all right. I'm pretty sure I can take a hit from this thing. The best he can really hope to accomplish is, uh, because I am a specially defensive set, is to break my um, Air Balloon, which he's just going to go ahead and do. But it does give me Stealth Rocks finally, which um, is obviously a nice thing to set up, because it's going to limit the uh, his ability to switch pretty much. And uh, yeah, he's going to go into Mudsdale, though. So after he broke my um, air balloon, I am super vulnerable to this Mudsdale. I could stay in here and maybe Willow Wisp or try to, you know, but I decided to switch out. Um, you know, I obviously wouldn't take, well, an Earthquake very well. He goes for a Heavy Slam, I guess, predicting a switch. And I go into my physically defensive Mew. Now, this is the Mew that I wanted to use the other uh, last battle. Um, the Z-Move Mew, I fixed it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Psychic, though. Because uh, while I could use uh, my Z-Move to set up the Psychic Terrain... Um, I, it's a little too risky at this point, uh, because he can still just go into Tapu Koko, and then I'd have completely wasted, uh, you know, being able to set up that terrain. Now, clearly this Mudsdale is Assault Vested, because I'm not really doing anything to it. I don't really have a whole lot of special attack investment. I think I don't have, actually, any. Um, but, uh, 
obviously it's still doing very little. This is, uh, like I said, a very defensive Mew, and he's uh, going for the Body Slam now to get the Paralysis. And he does get it, but I do have Synchronize, so it's kind of a, uh, you know, push. I'm like, okay, fine. We can both be paralyzed. Fine with me. As I just go for a Roost now to play it safe. You know, just to do that. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to go for an Earthquake now. Mew does not have Levitate, unfortunately, even though it's clearly levitating. So he's able to hit me with that Earthquake, but uh, look how well I take that. It's kind, of, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Anyway, I do get frozen in my Paralysis this turn, so I'm going to definitely have to Roost the next turn. Um, as I, because I, I feel confident that I can win this, uh, one-on-one -on -one matchup here if he wants to do it, because, obviously, he doesn't have a way to reliably cover his, his HP, and I do. But, uh, yeah, he realizes that. Going into Cap to Coco, sets up his Electric Surge, and I'm like, fine, you know what, he just went into Coco, I'm gonna go for my Z-move. Um, he could, he, maybe he'll stay in, and I'm pretty sure the, uh, damage of my Z-move will be enough to kill this type of Coco, maybe? But he's ended up just going to U-turn, which... I was kind of uh, disappointed about, because now he could go right back into Tapu Coco to get rid of my field. But, um, well, still going for it. He goes into Mimikyu, which is not great either, because uh, the extra power of my uh, Z-move is going to be completely wasted on his disguise. But, eh, here we go. Gonna go for it anyway. Full Force Z-move, um, Genesis Supernova. Unfortunately, like I said, not gonna be able to see how much damage this does, but it definitely looks cool. Um, and it's gonna break the disguise of the Mimikyu, um, at least, which is actually pretty critical, because Mimikyu is, I believe, what slit wet me the battle before this. So, yeah. Um, so the Dinos is gonna fall off, and I'm just gonna go for a Psychic. I don't really want to give this thing, you know, a free opportunity to switch, uh, you know, set up and stuff, and I do have a boost going on, and, uh, I'm pretty sure, because, yeah, we, we battled before. Now, he has Substitute, which means he doesn't have Shadow Claw. You might remember I battled this Mimikyu in the past, I think, against Fat Jesus. And uh, one of the weaknesses of this set is it doesn't actually have Shadow Claw, and um, I really don't think uh, I'm not. He can't use um, his uh, priority Shadow Sneak in the Psychic Terrain, so I'm just gonna go for another Shadow Ball. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite kill Mimikyu. Um, if only I had a little bit of investment, I might have been able to. But uh, I'm going into Crobat now, uh, predicting another play rough, and uh, he ends up making a pretty good play in Swords Dance again. Something that uh, I keep forgetting is terrain actually doesn't affect Pokemon that are in the air. Um, that includes Psychic Terrain, as you can see, and uh, heads up play by him for knowing this. Um, he can actually Shadow Sneak my Crobat, so um, I was kind of sad about that. I, At the time, I was like, oh, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh well, so the weirdness goes away at least, and um, yeah, in comes back Tapu Koko, and uh, he's going to go ahead and set up the Electric Terrain, but... Uh, you know, it, my uh, Psychic Terrain played out, even though I really didn't get much use out of it, but whatever. You know, it kept him from using Shadow Sneak, so I guess that's what I got. Anyway, he's just going to go for the Thunderbolt against Crobat, and uh, I I knew, I, in fact, I, I told him in the chat, I knew I was going to lose that speed tie. Crobat and Typer Coco have the same base speed, my Crobat wears max speed as well, whatever. I'm not going to lose this speed, uh... battle, though, because Fairmosa is faster than Tapu Coco, get poison jabbed, and die. And, uh, yeah, he's not living a choice bandit poison jab, and I get my beast boost, and in comes Raichu, and this thing has, uh, Surge, although I, I did get speed. I might have been able to actually outspeed this, um, but I, I switch out because I guess I didn't want to risk it. I go into Mew thinking, all right, I'm just pretty much trying to stall the Psychic Terrain at this point, plus I think he's probably going to go for a Psychic. Actually, he could have easily went for an Electric move. Um, doesn't really matter at this point, but there he goes for a, a Thunderbolt. And like I said, I'm just going to try to stall out this electric terrain because he can't set it back up. Tapu Koko is dead, which was, you know, kind of key. He's going to go into Heat Ran. Um, this thing does have Focus Blast. He does hit with it, of course, and uh, kills me. But I believe this is the last turn of these uh, electric terrain, so his Raichu speed is going to now be halved from what it is right now. And uh, not nearly as threatening. So, um, yeah, it's going to go into Mega Alakazam, which I know can definitely outspeed. I think I probably could have just went into Faramosa too, but... Gonna let Mega Alakazam go ahead and Mega Evolve and finish this off. I do Mega Evolve, and I believe I have Shadow Ball to handle uh, Raichu, or Lola Raichu, which is a Psychic type as well. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be able to take out the Raichu, and uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure I can just outspeed most of his team, and I actually think this might... No, this is not a last Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure I outspeed the rest of his team. Yeah, like this Salazzle. Pretty fast Pokemon, not faster than Mega Alakazam, so go ahead and get Psy Shocked, you, and uh, go away. And, uh, I think he has one more Pokemon, and, uh, well, I just sweep with Mega Alakazam. So, that's what ends up happening. Yeah, he goes into Mudsdale, that's right. 
Um, I guess I could have actually went for a side shock here. Probably would have done more. Um, because of his assault faster. Maybe not. I don't even know. I just go for a shadow ball. Uh, because I didn't want to hit this thing's physical defense. And I end up getting the special defense drop, so that's kind of cool. And, um, I don't actually kill it, though. As he just goes for a heavy slam and doesn't quite kill me either. And the special defense drop means I can kill it and finish off the game. Although, even if he didn't quite die to the shadow ball, I'm pretty sure I could have just revenge killed with Pheromos anyway. So, good game there, Fat G's Uz, and, uh... He's a really great battler, and, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for the match. Match is, actually. Leave a comment about your favorite Pokemon community, whether it be Smogin, Cerebi, uh, YouTube, or uh, some Discord, or whatever. Where do you go to discuss, trade, battle, Pokemon, etc.? But uh, leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time. Later.